welcome to Demon Souls. My name is Nilaus and this is episode 20 and I would imagine the final episode of our Let's Play walkthrough where we have only one boss left, left actually one and a half, but uh, let's not uh, split hairs about that one. Uh, so what we're going to do is go somewhere completely different. So we need to stock up. We only have one mana potion left, or, or not mana potion, uh, spice, fresh spice. We have the aged spice, but we don't have that, but we'll take some fresh spice if we can't get anything else. So we'll go to this one. This is our friendly guy. He's the cheapest dealer we have sort of oh, readily available. And we'll buy, ah, okay, maybe that's a bit much. Let's get at least, like, 29. There we go. He's also pretty, he's, He's actually more expensive than our good friend, who's not actually a good friend. Uh, patches. So we'll go to Patches for that part, for the healing part. Because I'm also kind of, well actually if we look at it, if we look at it here. We have 25 of these and just a few here, some. That one's good. And we do have some way to clear before we can go into uh, to the boss fight. So maybe just get one more level and then, yeah, let's, let's focus on getting one more level. Legendary, got it, that's 26, got it, that's 14, 36, that's not enough. There, 38, and where is she? She keeps running around. Now she's over here. Ta-da! Then touch the soul of the mind. One more magic. And good stuff. And then go up to our friend up here. Let's see how many we want of these and these. No, 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 don't mention it. No, don't mention it. Okay. Uh ten? Sure. Late bone grass? Sure. Yep, I'm that good. You can take me late. That's one thousand. 1,000. No, 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 don't mention it. It's expensive. Good. Yep, so now I feel a bit more comfortable. Oop, oop. So, let's go back into zone number one. What hides behind zone number one? We don't need a sudden ring, but you can also see how much that sudden ring has really helped us. Actually, with the magical sharpness here. That one, the cling ring. Things are kind of dangerous in there, so. Probably not safe to do this, but we're gonna do it anyway. All right, the King's Tower. The King's Tower, once a symbol of Boletaria, stands ravaged by the claw marks of Drake's while silver-haired old Knight King Alant sits, old King Alant sits on the crumbling throne, witness to the desolation. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, right. And now I remember. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, yeah, at least it's white. Uh, right after these ones. We're going to kill these a lot because after those comes a miserable fight. Oh, 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 look at that slash. Ow, did you see that? All right. So, <clears throat> we have three things down there. And I can just as well say this. They are going to one-shot me for sure. Several of them have very much one-shot potential. Particularly the ranged one is absolutely just one-shot everything always annoying so how the hell do we do this what is our long range spells I guess I need to pull one of them to me okay that's one all right you good uh-huh So far, so good. That's a pretty good sword. 
We want to... I don't know what we want. There's no way we can get her to come to us. And those arrows will take... Maybe not all of my head punch, but pretty much. And I don't think there's anything I can do about it. Maybe a thief ring? <laughs> so then she was like, uh, what am I shooting at again? Problem. Okay. Okay, this one was the usually the toughest one. Because she deals a stupid amount of damage. The other guy. He has a scraping spear, which is super annoying, but he's mainly a tank, so if you just don't let him kill you, then that's kind of how tanking works. I mean, if I'm getting putting that through your tower shield, then you're pretty dead, aren't you? Okay, well, that was super trivial. I, I've had more difficulty with that in the past. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was ridiculously easy actually. Hmm. Switch over. I don't know if the thief ring did anything in this regard. Oh, it, it actually did. It actually did quite a lot. Uh, thief ring can go back to the sharpness now. We want to deal extra damage when we can. And you can see our mana is just disappearing disappearing here. I think it's safer for us to go with a cling ring here. Even though we could get a bit more... Uh, get a bit mana back. But I don't think that's worth it. And right up between... Behind that one. You hear it. Chopstone chucks. All right. I go in. And then I roll back. Oh, does he have a shield? Yeah, he has a shield. Oh, okay. And now there is also an assassin here that probably comes out at the same time. But he's kind of invisible. Whoopa! Listen. We know there is an assassin here, so. Whoop, there we go. Nope, no more assassin. Okay, so we got the assassin. We got the the two archers. Mm-hmm. And there's one more knight up here, right? That's... There you go. That's a bit much, but... He's pretty dangerous. New moon grass. We're getting a lot of new moon grass. All right. So... Oh, right. I forgot. I forgot. I thought we were actually close to the boss. There's actually quite a bit of distance to go. Okay, so, so here is a dragon. The blue dragon is still around. Uh, it is technically killable, but it's something like 20 minutes of boredom to kill it. So that's going to be a hard mode for me. Mm. 
I got an idea. I should have gotten Water Veil here, so I would... Okay, so the plan here is... <clears throat> run forward, and then we run backwards. That's how we intend to take this guy out. Ow! Whoops. Really? Hmm. Is he dead? I should grill him. Last bit. Cool. Let's see if... Okay, so it actually goes this way. And we're dead. Alright, well, that's... This is difficult. Uh, so, we have this Warden thing. Let's go back and retune our spells to get the Water Veil. For There's going to be a lot of flames here. If we can just pop that, then I think we're going to be safer. Uh, there's no... I mean... It's spells. Let's use those damn spells. We have them for a reason. Hey, freak. Attune, and I am unattuning you, and I am reattuning Water Veil. Thank you very much. And then we go back in. I'm actually starting to think that we might not even have enough. Okay, King's Tower. Alright, we got the three heroes. Those are the worst ones. The rest was pretty easy. And that uh, tower is also kind of annoying. Slash. Go away. And there was a loot goblin here that we lost. Damn it. It's not. doesn't matter. It's just mainly out of principle. I'm going to roll through all of these. Target it. There you go. More. Go in. And roll back. Come on. Ow! It's crazy. Chillax there. I don't want to deal 51 damage to you. Does it really mean that I have to do this? Okay. I don't like the stab, I can't. Oh, this is, I hate this. I hate this part. This is so ridiculous. Ah. Okay, come on. Now it's... Simple enough, but uh, oh yeah, we have to use this because this is actually what we're getting now. Get that one. How oh, there? Okay. the uh oh, there you are okay stealthy throwing daggers fine should be able to take with two of these oh, 
Good stuff. Got it. And now the next. What a veil. Should protect us somewhat against the flames. I'm gonna need to take this guy entirely up. Oh, you know what? Maybe also get my souls. I mean, it's 49,000. How the hell do I have 49,000? 50,000 here. Oh, because they give like 3,000 each. Ah! Alright, so let me breathe flames. What? Well, I can't cast it until it actually expires. Oh my god, this... Ah, I don't remember how to do this. I remember if you have an arrow and bow and arrow, you can just pull both of them in. But I don't have a bow and arrow. Shit. Sucks. Man. It's supposed to be a... Super nice little fast thing here. Oh, it's already long gone. <sighs> Come on. Cure shop's done. Nice. think this is easier or better. Nope. Oh my god, this is the same shit again. Are we doing the same shit again here? If you do a stab, I can't do anything. Nope, I can't do it. The stabs you can't parry. I don't know if you can, but I can't parry the stabs. Uh, what? What? Oh, it's all of this crap here that's super heavy. Even grass. Let's actually do that so we can cast spells. stuff there you are goodbye full moon grass new moon grass I get a lot of grass here that's good so this lotus that one Okay, so I don't know how to do this now. Mm. I'm gonna have to get you out first. What? Should be enough to take him out, right? Okay, so now I'm... I'm gonna let that grow before me. Okay, I'm gonna try again. One more time. 
take that one and I'm gonna go back. It's gonna take some damage, yeah. But that's okay. Now, I think I just want, want to run all the way through and ignore that guy and then maybe just whatever. Not great, not great at all. Wow, did that just disappear or what? Let's see what happens out here. Did we get that one? Uh, no, not yet. So, cast that again, just to make sure that we get. Okay, so it goes all the way over here. Okay, I'm just gonna conclude that we don't really need to deal with that crap. Yeah, so this is a huge mess and we have to do things deliberately. We have to go down here, grab that one. And that's a knighted shield. And up there we have a Bjor, Bjor, my friend. And over here we have an unlock path. So we can actually take that one if we don't have to go through this gauntlet again. And this guy, he's just holding off the dragon. I, mean, I think this is totally worth it. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Let's take that. Let's see. Okay, go. I'll take that one. I don't think I need it. Look at the legendaries. Wow. Oh, we made it in here. All right. So who is that? My friend. Oh, it's you, is it? My father is up above. Ha, well, something like him anyway. A demon in his shape. I began this quest to ask my father his reasons. To drag him back to the path of righteousness. But it seems it was all in vain. Please, kill my father. In his depraved state, he can only bring peril to these lands. This key opens Boletaria's mausoleum. Inside the mausoleum lies father's sword, the demon brand, twin of soul brand. Use it to bring an end to his madness. Well, um, oops, I died. And ah, oh, come on. Where's where's the key? Or maybe I just got it in my inventory. Uh, yeah. So what happened here? We've helped him all the way, Ostrava, and then he just decides to go about dying just in front of us. Um, haha. We really shouldn't be going to a boss fight with eighty thousand, uh, sixty-eight thousand. But you know, we got here. So who do we have here? We have a black phantom version of our friend. Well, then we get the rune shield and rune sword. The weapons he's using, they're pretty nice. Not something we'd want, obviously, but um, nice anyway. And there we get to the world's longest elevator. Oh, actually, that means we're actually getting the boss fight right after this one, because I have to be ready then. And do we have the right things? 
the right weapons, clingering and magical. Yes, and we have the right things. All right. Yep. So boss fight it is. This is the end boss fight. Uh, it can be really easy or really difficult depending on what you do. Uh, so he has some really clearly telegraphed attacks and if you sort of follow them then it shouldn't be a big deal. But he also has a lot of things so you can get caught up close and then he's um, he's are rather difficult because you kind of get stuck in his attack flurry so keep a distance even as a melee character you want to keep a distance which is really weird come on to enter the fog there we go That's his weapon, Soul Brand. Oh, he also has a ability that takes your levels away. And that's kind of shitty. That's the worst ability. Because it's so depressing to know that you get weaker and it get next fight gets harder if you if you die. Alright, well here we go. Well that's kind of bad. Maybe we should try one of these. Is that dealing damage? Yeah, it deals a fair bit of damage. Oh, dodge! My turn. That did nothing. Oh my god. I'm just gonna run away! Yeah, I this is the part I remember where you just get stuck in... in it's a loop here, but at the end of the day it's... it's Two spells. That was technically the last boss fight. Well, that's the, that's still like the end thing, but that's the last one that's of any difficulty. How did you defeat my demonic reflection? Mm. Um, with firestorm. How many souls might you have devoured? I wonder. A few. The rest is up to the old one. If it is to be, then you shall be back. Oh, oh, sorry. Throne of the False King. The man who wielded untold power calmly watched over the kingdom from on high was not, in fact, old King Alant, but a demonic impostor who stood in his place. The true king dwells with the old one. Yeah, so that was, this guy wasn't Ostrava's father. He was just a demon. Who took over his place. But now we have paved the way to the old one. Yet another place to gravity kill yourself. And this is the... <clears throat> annoying thing that as soon as we talk to her we can't actually get her to to teach Hark, I hear a voice of your the old one calls for thee let us proceed below to its lair the expression on her face or character's face just, just a second before falling down or as falling
there it is, the old one. And I love that it's not a big demon. That it's it's something completely different. actually serving the old one and her quest was to find someone to replace the real King Alant who awoke the old one and now we are here to replace King Alant a new one but whether that is to put it back to slumber or not that's kind of Well, if it's made of wood, then it's gonna burn. Let's see what she has to say. Let us proceed below to its lair. Uh, that's already what you did say. And we have to have our body with us, so yeah. Very dense forest somehow inside. You have been chosen by the old one. Will you seek the everlasting demon souls? Or has the monumental blinded you? Whatever your choice, you are our first visitor. May you be welcome here. Hmm. Yeah, so... Are we here to claim the souls? Or... Surely you have seen for yourself the pain and suffering that fills this world. But God is merciful, and so created the Old One. You fool! Don't you understand? No, no one wishes to go on. No one wishes to go on. Yeah, so your interpretation of just saving the world is just kill them all. That was not really a boss fight. Thy work is done. Slayer of demons, go back above. The Nexus shall imprison thee no longer. I shall lull the old one back to slumber. So, now we have the choice. We can either go back... Oh, first we have to get... That's the weapon. Because that's... Act the real King Alant got kind of corrupted. If we go back here, we go back, we serve the monumental, we let the maiden in black lull the demon back to sleep, or... That's what we did on our Let's Play. Or we can do as King Alant basically says, just kill her. And then claim her souls. Oh, I didn't have enough. Well, that was kind of anticlimactic. Seek its soul power. We are here for the souls. She was a demon. And we got her souls. The old one senses a new and powerful demon by its side. And before long, the world will be engulfed by the deep fog. Whoops. Bring more souls. <laughs> so now someone else will have to come and claim us on 
will basically take the role of the Maiden in Black. Now this was an absolutely fantastic game. Despite some of the, the old fashioned mechanics, the way it plays, it's so enjoyable. And the difficulty is, I mean, this is the second, third playthrough. And of course I knew kind of what to do and the glass cannon could absolutely destroy things, but also just die, it's just incredibly easy. Uh, with a more dedicated build, you can, I mean, I'm, I'm almost saying that I, with the exception of a few gravity death here and there, I'm pretty sure I could go uh, with a more sort of balanced character, could do the whole thing deathless. I think so. Um, that with a mage, obviously. But uh, we, we went through them with the mage and it was really cool to just absolutely blast those uh, those things. Uh, if the bosses were just, yeah, they, Firestone was a good spell. <laughs> and I mean, the game is so beautiful. I, I wish there was a bit more lore to it, but that's, uh, it's an old game, like nine years old. So that's uh, the richer lore just comes later in the Dark Souls series that I really want to play at least Dark Souls 3. I don't think I will play Dark Souls 1 or 2, but Dark Souls 3, I definitely want to play that at some point. And then maybe eventually we'll say or something about Elden Ring. So anything that is remotely Souls-like is definitely right up my alley. So yeah, that's I'm, I'm totally hooked on that, that kind of genre. So anyway, um, I, I've just thoroughly enjoyed it. This is something else on my channel, something that isn't really what I usually do, but it's something that I'm going to do more of, these rich, story-driven, difficult games, as long as they don't involve any uh, too much shooting, because I don't really like this shooting part, especially not with a controller. But fighting games, absolutely. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for following. I really appreciate that there were some people who found it interesting and wanted to follow all the way to the end. And uh, let me know if you have some other games that you would like me to take a look at, what you think... Uh, we did a Sekiro Let's Play, and now we did this Demon Souls. We can do a Dark Souls 3 at some point. I'm going to do a Blood God of War as soon as we hear some kind of announcement about uh, when the next God of War comes out. Then as part of building the hype, we're going to be playing the old God of War. The old, but the recent God of War all the way through. It's also one of my absolute favorite games in the genre. So I'm just going to thank you here. Thank you very much for joining. It's been absolutely fantastic to uh, record this for you. And I hope to see you, well, either on YouTube, on Twitch, or on Discord. Thanks for watching, take care, and stay effective.